so welcome back to another video of our backend series with node.js express.js and mongodb in the last lecture we had discussed about how we can create a basic server in node.js using http module in the previous lecture of the last lecture we had discussed how to print hello world in console so we printed hello world in console then we created a basic server using node.js and printed the hello world on browser screen now in this video we will be understanding how we can implement the basic routing in node.js so first of all you need to understand what is routing so here we are only uh, printing hello world v change on the browser screen for any route but what routing means is first let's start our server So write node server dot js to start a server. Now let's understand what is routing. So let's go to local host five thousand. So we got this hello world we change on the browser screen. Now what do you mean by routing? Routes means this url uh, on the basis of change in the url we should update the data means, uh, it means, means uh, the routing means displaying different data based on the different routes or based on different url we serve different data to user or client uh, now routes wh uh, what do you mean by route route means change in the url whatever the address here in this url bar is present that is called as route so based on different urls we have we want to serve different data to our users now we are getting uh, this hello world output on the local uh, host 5000 route so if we change our route to users then also we are getting this data means uh, for all the routes we are getting the same response so in any application you may have seen that uh, uh, on the basis of different urls you are getting different data so this is what we want to implement so this is called as routing serving different data to users on the basis of different url so whenever the url changes data in the body changes this is what routing is now we will implement a uh, routing in our application for this just remove this line we will implement this using the request object so uh, I had told in the last video that uh, the request object is about client if you want to get any information about the client uh, or request uh, then we use this request object and if you want to send any data to client then we use this response object so here we want to access the uh, url so we used request object we will uh, implement the routing using if else statements so starting uh, let's write if request dot url equals to equals to you may note the uh, you may know that uh, this triple equals to means strict checker it will uh, check for the value as well as the data type we normally use triple equal to in any node.js application or in any uh, javascript application so request.url equals to equals to this means this is home page now if we go this browser if we go to the browser then this is what we get, uh, get at the home page so if the request.url is root then we will send the response as response.end this is home page so if we restart the server node server.js 
if you reload the page one minute oh here we got error so let's start the server again node server dot js so as you can see the data is updated we are at the home page of our application and we are getting this is home page because of this now else if request dot url equals to equals to equals to profile means if the request dot url is profile then we will send this data means this is your profile one more route else if request dot url equals to equals to equals to news then this dot end this is news Here we are providing the default message to all other routes. Rest dot end. This URL doesn't have any data. So let's close our server. Let's restart our server node server dot js now as you can see we are getting this is home page at root and then at profile we are getting this url doesn't have any data why is this happening so so we have to give this backslash at the starting of the url like backslash profile backslash news node server dot js so as you can see we are now in the slash profile and we are getting this data this is your profile if you move to news then we get we are getting this data this is news if you move to home then we are getting this is home page for all other urls like uh, if we go to this url then this is giving this url doesn't have any data so this was all about how we can implement basic routing in node.js so what we have done in this video is we have implemented the basic routing using node.js we have used if else statement and uh, using the request object we are accessing the url request.url uh, if uh, this url hits in the uh, url bar then the client will get this data if this request hits in the url bar then the client will get this data this is what the routing is thank you for watching this video if you want to access the full playlist of our backend series then please subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next video